So, welcome today. Um, today we're gonna take a look at a, a thing called EDM. And this allows us to drill through very hard uh, material. The only thing the material has to be is conductive. How it works? Let's imagine we have an oil bath, like this, and we have our workpiece down here. Then we have a drill. It doesn't really have to be a drill drill, it could be anything metal like for example a piece of wire and on this piece of wire we connect positive voltage and the other side ground. So now when we near the drill to the workpiece there is a spark and this spark starts to erode, erode the piece away. Yeah. And this basically allows you to drill through almost anything. Uh, I made a little crappy uh, test setup from some trash I had lying around and was able to drill through this. This is an oil rose sand with a hole in it. And I did this using basically trash parts I had lying around. Uh, we're starting off with this little setup here, this little setup is basically uh, an old stand from a USB microscope, uh, a wire, a copper wire, an old servo without a control electronics in it, um, and a bath with vegetable oil. In this case it's uh, sunflower oil. And yeah. The, the important part is you can't just only hold the wire or your drill uh, over the workpiece and go down because at one point those two pieces will melt together or fuse together and when that happens you have to pull back. So you disconnect them and then you have to start again getting lower slowly and slowly. And to get that repetitive task done for me I used, let me push this over here, an Arduino, yeah, everybody knows them. This is a cheap uh, Arduino Nano clone. Um, then I used a, a relay board uh, as an H bridge. Um, if you don't know what an H bridge is, an H bridge is a circuit which allows you to drive an electric motor uh, in two different directions. In this case, the electric motor is my servo. I use this servo because it has a good gear ratio, which allows me a bit of precision. And even after that gear ratio, I step it down with this. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me let me just zoom in a bit. With this um, O-ring that I use as a driver belt. Uh, so basically I say the servo uh, run the servo motor, it's not a servo anymore, it's just a motor with some gears now. Uh, run a few seconds in this direction and then run a few seconds in this direction. So we say him run down for like half a second and then run up again. But our down time is a little bit longer than our up time. So every time after the circle we are like 0.01 millimeters lower than before. And now comes, comes another important point. We have a very uh, simple sense circuit on our Arduino. Let's just assume this is our Arduino down here and then we have here an analog input pin that goes to our uh, voltage supply. And we have uh, two resistors like this and think away this. So and this goes to ground. Yeah I know it's not the prettiest 
but it works. <laughs> this is just a voltage divider. You can look this up, it's just two resistors. Uh, one is 10 times bigger than the other. We just do this so we don't uh, crash the Arduino uh, analog input pin. So, and if there should be a short circuit here, so when the drill touches actually the plate and we have a short circuit and the two pieces weld together, uh, the power simply can't manage the current and drops to zero. And the Arduino input pin detects this and when that happens we tell our servo motor to pull up a few millimeters again and then start over. Um, so here is a little video of how all this worked out. So we've fixed our workpiece, now it's time to pour in some oil. I'm using a uh, normal sunflower oil for this. As you can see we turned on the power and we are seeing flashes already. So now let me turn on the servo. Um, <laughs> to drill through this uh, coin it took me maybe 13, 30 minutes but <laughs> I, uh, it felt a lot longer because uh, the oil when you do this gets very dark at least in my case because I my setup is so small I didn't filter the oil that I didn't notice when the wire was actually through the coin and let it run for like half an hour after that just to make sure because I didn't want to break down the setup just to look and then start over with another hole again. Um, yeah, that's basically it. A little crappy, <laughs> uh, a little crappy EDM demonstrator from Trash Parts. If you want to see the Arduino code for it, it's like five or seven lines. I can put that online. Uh, look in the description below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.